Let's give it up, nice round of applause for Mr. Tom Myers. Keep it up for Dan Marcy Keeper! Oh, it's great to be here tonight in front of a group of people who failed to get Metallica tickets. Uh. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about me. I'm 34 years old and my girlfriend looks at my penis the same way a kid looks at snow waiting to hear if school's going to be closed. Uh. Anything less than six inches and there's bitter disappointment. Uh. I am from the Baltimore area and when you're a comic, you're from the Baltimore area, you get asked to do West Virginia a lot. I learned something interesting about West Virginia, and that is West Virginia broke away from Virginia during the Civil War. See, Virginia was with the Confederacy, and there were some people in Virginia who wanted to break away from the Confederacy and go back with the Union, so they formed West Virginia. So the good people of West Virginia didn't want to be known as a bunch of backwoods, inbred, redneck racists. Oh, the fucking irony! <laughs> I drove through Alabama not too long ago. I passed this uh, sign. Welcome to the birthplace of Helen Keller. When you know what, there was nothing to see down there. I did a show in Kansas recently. Um, I went into this venue in Kansas right over the bar and had this bumper sticker. Ted Kennedy's car has killed more people than my gun. Whoa, very intense. I want to come up with a bumper sticker in response to that that says, more young women have been shot in the face by guns than by Bill Clinton. <laughs> and I'm a Democrat, and I'm making that joke, all right? <laughs> but uh, I read an interview with the billionaire financier Warren Buffett. In this interview, he admits that he drinks five cans of Coca-Cola a day. Five cans of Coca-Cola a day? If he ever eats an entire packet of Mentos, his head's going to skyrocket higher than his fucking net worth. <laughs> Did you read about the, uh, the time Kanye West broke up a fight between two photographers? The two photographers uh, stopped beating up each other and promptly proceeded to kick the shit out of Kanye West. <laughs> Kanye West stopped one of his concerts right in the middle. Did you see this? He stopped one of his concerts because his wife, Kim Kardashian, was robbed at gunpoint. And who says violence is never the answer to the world's problems? <laughs> <laughs> I read that the uh, adult video site YouPorn is going to start making uh, adult movies for the visually impaired. <laughs> Sounds kind of self-defeating, doesn't it? Seeing as how watching adult movies made you visually impaired in the first place? You ever watch those adult movies? At the bottom, they always have this option. Share this to Facebook. Who does that? Who watches one of those videos of people doing the most dehumanizing things to one another? And then thinks, this will top those photos of my niece's last birthday party. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of funny uh, people with a sense of humor in my family. Uh, my uncle is one of those guys. He can make you laugh by reading a carry-out menu. Of course, he has Tourette's. <laughs> Anybody have any relatives who always have to unplug every single electrical appliance before they leave the house? <laughs> my aunt does that. She does that not only at home, but at her place of work. And they fired her for doing that, unplugging all the electrical appliances. <laughs> to be fair, though, she does work at a hospice. Yeah. You hung in there for this long. <laughs> my mother's not a stage mother by any uh, definite by any, uh, definition of the, the term. I told my mother about the first time I was doing Las Vegas, and my, no bullshit, my mother said this. Now, Tom, while you're in Las Vegas, I don't want you to go into any place that has gambling. <laughs> Like, Mom, it's Las Vegas. They have slot machines at Golden Corral, all right? You gamble enough when you go in there to eat. I tell you what, Mom, we were raised Catholic. Go ahead and book me in a Catholic seminary for the duration of my stay there, all right? Besides, if I tell them I used to be an altar boy, it'd be the only place in Las Vegas so I can get a hand job for free. No. That's a joke, obviously. There's no such thing as a free hand job in Las Vegas. Every time I masturbated, I had to tip myself. 
People ask me where I get my sense of humor. I tell them, my father. My father was always big on telling jokes growing up. Uh, my, uh, the joke that, uh, my dad used to tell a lot to us kids growing up was, kids, I love you. <laughs> I got them back though. Last month was their wedding anniversary and I called my parents and woke them up at three in the morning to wish them a happy wedding anniversary. And it was fitting because I wished them a happy wedding anniversary in the same manner that they reacted when I told them I wanted to study theater in college. I ended their dreams. <laughs> but doing shows like this is fun, but once I get done doing these shows, I get to go home to my cat. I love my cat, I really do. He's, uh, my cat's my best buddy, he really is. You know why? Because a cat acts just like a man. Oh yeah, I know, listen, I know as soon as I get home, my cat, just like a man, is gonna be sacked out on my couch in front of my television going, hey, what's up? You know my food dish is empty? My goddamn food dish is empty? And have you seen the state of my litter box? I, I, I know you don't clean your bathroom, I know, because I tried to use that as an alternative, but seriously, refill my food dish, clean up my litter box, I'm gonna sit here and watch television. No, I'm not changing the channel either. Well, I don't have thumbs, I can't, so. No, I'm not watching Animal Planet, dork. I'm watching my favorite movie of all time, Old Yeller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Baltimore, it's been a pleasure spending time with you guys. Always great to perform in my hometown. Thank you guys so much for coming out and enjoying the festival.